Hey there, everyone! <laughs> I didn't know how long I was gonna be silent for, but I ended up just doing be silent for the whole dang thing, huh? This is Monkey Shrapnel from the guys who play games. <laughs> it is a little surreal to be playing this. This is, uh, I mean, if you couldn't tell, A2XT Episode 2. This game's been in production for a little over like a decade now. It's actually kind of wild. I, I mean, I keep bringing this up in like all the... Everywhere I, I go. I'm like, oh man, it's been 10 years. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, like, what... This game's out. <laughs> uh, Man, I have a history with this series. Not necessarily a good one, though, because uh, I LP'd the original game and then episode 1 of Day 2 XT. And, uh, yeah, they're not the best. Especially the original one, where I'm just like, I don't know what was going on. I mean, I guess because I was a freaking... Oh my god, I was a teenager when it, a Super Mario Bros. X thing came out. I was, like, in high school. I wasn't even in my last year of high school. Ow. I'm gonna die because I'm too busy reminiscing. I was a teenager when this game series came out. I'm in, like, my mid-twenties now. Right? Oh, they. And uh, you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell. Because, man, I've changed a lot. <laughs> I've changed a lot. I really have since the original Super Mario Bros. X thing. Like, if you go watch that LP, it's like, for whatever reason, I'm just like weirdly like... I don't know if toxic is the right word, but like, I'm really like hostile. I'm in that classic gamer phase of, like, I blame everything but myself, you know? Every time I die, it's the game's fault, and the people who made these levels should go burn in hell, you know? That kind of shtick. Uh, A2XT Episode 1, I was definitely better, but, I mean, that, that was also kind of, I mean, I can't, I can't really say anything about how good of an lp -er I am, because the reality is, is that barely anyone watches me. Like, the only people I know who watch me are just friends, which, you know, fair enough. That's kind of all I care about. Not even, really. T to be perfectly honest, this is... Have I even brought this up before? I only really do this st this shtick just because, like, I'm bad at public speaking. Which, I know that sounds silly, because this isn't really public speaking, but... Like, when I say I'm bad at public speaking, I mean, like, I'm the kind of person who's who trips over his own words a lot. And that was kind of the entire reason why I even started doing this to begin with, was like... I mean, what, what better practice than speaking in front of a screen for hours on end? 
back when it was, you know, not even hours on end, it was like 10 to 15 minutes on end. <laughs> now I have hiccups because of course I have. A2XT Episode 2 has been in development for a little over a decade, I think, roughly, give or take. And it's not really the fault of the team. Not really in the slightest, actually, because the development, it, it, in a way, it's kind of like, uh, you know, Dookie Nuki, the Duke Nukem Forever, or whatever that game's called, where it kind of just ended up in development hell. Although even worse than that, because, like, this game went through, like, uh, I think it, I don't know what, it's, it's kind of silly to say, but it went through something called the, is it the Talk House Trophy? The Talk House Trophy or whatever? The Talk House Apocalypse, whatever? Where like a bunch of, uh, just a ton of older stuff just basically died out because the form, the Talk House went down and like it didn't just like go down, it like, they, like, literally lost a bunch of backups, basically. So, like, a ton of stuff that happened for, like, a certain period of time basically was just gone. And there was nothing left of it. So, this game went through that. A lot of stuff was on the talk house. And uh, in other places, too. Just a ton of stuff is just gone. You know, meanwhile. God, I did voice acting for A2XT Episode 1. And I did dumb voice acting. Like, uh, my voice for Sheath was just me yelling for some reason. That was what I did. Should I even do an accent for Raukau? Because I, I, I'm, I'm Canadian. Should, should I just not do the accent? Should I just... Because I, I can't really even do the stereotypical... Like, like the, what the accent people think of when they think of Canada is really more of like a Minnesota maritime accent. <clears throat> I can't even really do that. Like... I, I could do like a goofy voice, like "Golly, <laughs> that's that's terrible." What should he do? I do wanna, I do wanna talk, but should I? Frick, because it's gonna be goofy no matter what I do. Because I know what this guy's voice sounds like, and I can't do that voice. I'm not French Canadian. Uh. Oh, oh, oh the. the <clears throat> Oh, uh, deep, uh, deep, uh, deep, uh, deep, uh, I cannot. Oh, yeah. I should be able to find a good hiding spot somewhere around here. I gotta hurry, though, since Demo easily gets impatient when she's the Seeker. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's that's my best imitation of a Minnesota accent. I, I it's just, you know. Don't judge me. What was I talking about? Right, yeah, this, this game's been, yeah, it went through a ton of hell. And there was also a bit of a, a what, what you want to call the creeping feature, you know? Feature creep, scope creep, whatever you want to call it, where they ended up doing a lot more with this game than I think anyone ever really envisioned back when we first started working on this. Because uh, I say we, like I really did much, but I mean, I made, a, I made two regular levels and then I did some other stuff. I won't spoil that, I guess. Although anyone, anyone who's actually watched me either doesn't care or already watch Raukau's playthrough because I I'm waiting I waited until after he finished that to like he finished today actually which is funny I, I waited until the day of to start recording because last time I started I was recording in advance uh, and like that was just like there wasn't any even really a reason for that it was just something I did because I was just like I want to play this now I think I ended up being kind of like oh well you know it gives people a reason to watch him, but like in reality, I don't think anyone gives a crap. They just want to see Raukau play it, <laughs> which, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean, because that's kind of just what I wanted to do, too, but... Ba -da -ba 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 oh, right. Screen shake, yeah. There, there is so much, not just with A2XT Episode 2, but also just with some backs. Because there is, like, like, look at this. Like, I guess I should be, should I be showing the music? I mean, the, 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 the other themes was it's just the beach theme, you know? Actually, is that even the beach theme? That might be the overworld theme. I don't know. If you've heard of Superb Demo Sisters, it's music made... I, I, I'm actually not even sure. Was it made for that game? I'm not 100% sure about that, so I won't say it was explicitly made for the game, but it was a bunch of uh, remixes of, and, like, music that was made that got used in that game. 
I mean, I guess a lot of it is probably also just like the original a uh, Super Mario Brother, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers thing, a uh, Super Mario thing. Jeez. Oh, yeah, this spot should be good, eh? Oh my god, how do I do a turtle accent? I, I would say, like, for some reason, my immediate thought was do, like, a surfer accent, but I can't do that either. I can't do accents! Why do I, why do, I do this to myself? I'm, I could do, like, I can kind of do an Irish accent just because of, like, a, a theater class I took, but I can't do this. Uh... Of course, he would destroy everything in his path. Typical. Well, I'll look for a spot in the other direction then. I don't know why I'm doing It's like vaguely Scottish, Irish. Uh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, no, just feature creep. A lot of other crap that went down. Man, this game has a history. In it, but, uh, hey, it's out. You know, it, it, you know. That can't be said for a lot of stuff that ends up just in development hell forever. Right? That's just kind of the funny thing. It, it is kind of fun to think about that kind of thing, though, you know what I mean? Like, this in the time that this game, this game started development, I think around 2015? 2014, 2015. And it's 2024 now, so yeah, it's been a decade. Did it start earlier than that? No, I think that sounds about right, because... That was a, the same year I graduated, so surely that's about right. And I, lo I love these printer enemies. <laughs> the fact that the big printers turn into ink cartridges is it's pretty good. These guys don't really get used much, actually. I think these, this is really the only level they show up in, for the most part. But, uh, yeah, so, this entire series has been around for a while. It's kind of funny, because, like, I feel like, I I'm sure there's still a lot of the people around, but, unfortunately, the popularity of a lot of the forums and just forums in general these days are just not nearly as popular as they used to be they're still around despite people might say they're dying out but like i don't think they'll ever truly die out but though they're definitely not nearly as popular as they used to be finally a piece of i'm just gonna do a different voice a piece of foliage volume i can't i don't know how to pronounce this volume voluminous is that right? That sounds right. Voluminous. But that also doesn't sound right. Because I'm thinking of like voluptuous. Voluminous enough to hide your average turtle. Whatever. Native English speaker can't speak English. Hmm. What do we do for Iris? Could that, that, oh, 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 that was terrible. I, my voice could cracked instantly. Could, 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 Should I, I feel like Iris would have a deeper voice. She, she seems like the type of like, is, is that just because she's the taller one? Like, I don't know. She seems like she'd have, like, a, a deeper, maybe slightly shrill. But is that just me? I, I can't do that, though. I mean... <laughs> I, I, I just make the decision I'm going to voice these characters again, and then I, every single character that comes along, I just say, oh, yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> good, good job. Whatever. That's part of the fun of it, right? Um, Coot. 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 Cood. Cood. Cood's probably gonna... That's That just sounds like a... That doesn't really... Man! I should have taken a voice acting class. Cood's probably gonna just bump right into demo. At this rate, getting the chicken wings should be easy. Whatever. Good enough. Oh, right, yeah. Smabex physics. You gotta get used to that. 
You gotta jump way before the wall, because the second you touch that wall, you lose your vertical momentum, too. It's kind of a, a, a little, like, quirk. I love the, the purple iris palette. I think that's her original color, too. Well, actually, I don't, I don't know if... I mean purple. I think her actual original color was, like, a darker purple. This is more of like a magenta, but uh, I mean, you, you know what I mean. It, it, she's sim around this shade. That was like her original color before she just got turned green. I think you can still see those comics. Although, uh, don't quote me on that one, because uh, I, I I'll be perfectly honest. I never read much of Radcow's, uh should I even- well, no, I should say read, but I never read much of those, so I don't remember much about them. Do 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 do! You know, am I a fake fan? Maybe. Do 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 do! And she gets blasted and kaboom! Yeah, oh my god, I'm falling, help! <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know the significance of that uh, centaur horse, seahorse statue is. You know, maybe I shouldn't voice act. Maybe I'll just let it be. You know, maybe I'll just voice act the stuff I feel like voice acting. Screw it. You really didn't do the best job covering your tracks. <laughs> yeah. Anyone could have written that. Yeah, see? He's right. <laughs> what? Angry face. I like the emotes. <laughs> Good old cood bullying. That's like a, a favorite pastime of everyone. In game and out of game. I feel like we're missing someone. The gang's all here, Zoik Scoob. Yeah, Sheet's here too. Just, you know, in another space and time. Suddenly through space and time, it's Bowser. Except it's actually Sheath. You are the only hope. Do 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 do. Yeah, if you don't know, I actually did uh, a decent amount of uh, testing because I'm one of the testers, so I, I can't say this is all brand new to me, unfortunately. You know, it is what it is. It's been a while, but I also did just watch someone play through the whole game, so you know. The reality is, is that I'm not going to be spoiled by anything, but uh, for the sake of the, the exactly zero people who are watching me and not Rock Out for some reason, you know. I guess I'll try to not be super spoilery, but like at the same time, like maybe I should. Maybe I just just say screw it and give key insight into things I don't know anything about. Click. I do still have a few complaints. Like uh, the the switch sound is way too faint. Like it is legitimately hard to hear, especially because like. Most of the time you hit the switch, the switches in this game, you're probably doing it with something that's going to make it sound louder than the switch. Like, for example, this level, right off the bat, right, you hit the switch and then you're hitting the switch with sheath, so you're hearing this loud whack sound. So you're not really hearing the switch switch, you know what I mean? Boing. Sheath and her carrots. And the only other thing I can really think of is that uh, Sheath has... Sheath is just Link, right? So... Uh, that means he has... She has Link's shield, which also means that you have... the first, Every time I get to this part, I get hit. Because I think, oh, I have to duck this. But no! You have to face tank it. Because Sheath's face is the shield. Right? If you try to face tank it, or if you try to unduck it... Or, what am I trying to say? If you try to duck it, it, it don't work too good. 
And it's time to just uh, swing at this. You really don't need this many bonds, but you know, I always end up collecting nine for some reason because I'm a kleptomaniac. Ah! Break the bricky brick. Oh no, I've been hit. Anyways, suddenly through space and time once again. Feels like someone else should be here too. And then of course that means Sheath has to show up and ruin everything. <laughs> Just hey guys, what's up? <laughs> you got better. Cool hiding place. Yo, this bird shows up here, it never shows up again. It's it's just for funsies, basically. I feel like it's it's a slightly counter or like what should I call? Like I think Sheets uh, one of Sheets abilities is just described as being able to just kind of ignore reality. Does the bird fly away? And the bird started it. No it doesn't. Holy mother of forget I'm leaving. But yeah, like she has like she's supposed to be able to just like ignore. Uh, like how do I how do you even put it? She ignores. That, that, I mean, you know what? That's that's how you put it. She ignore. That's all it takes. Doop 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 doop. Ah, yeah, I'm getting slight flame f flame frame drops here. Not really much I can do about that. This game is weirdly taxing at times. That's just kind of a schmabex in general though. Oopsies. Did I pick a bad time to power up? No, I guess I'm good. The, there's like the void behind you, but it's a, it's, a, it's a very nice void. It waits if you're sl going slow. You know, it takes its time. Oops. Bad time to power up? Mm, no. I'm good. If you, in a way, it'd be kind of funny if the tutorial level is one of the hardest levels in the game. Oh yeah, I always forget. The, the blocks with the enemy on them is the blocks you can touch. And enemies can't. It, it almost seems kind of counterintuitive in a sense. Right? The thing with their face on it is not their property, as it were. They do not have any claim to it. Run! Hey. Hmm. Yeah, and that's some of the new stuff you can do. <laughs> Fancy ass effects, because, uh, Smabex basically lets you just have actual, like, you can basically just actually program stuff now. Should, should I give him robot voice? Nah. I'm not even really properly voice acting anymore. I gave up right away. You know what? We'll just do my normal voice for stuff. Screw it. You're in a bit of a predicament. I think this is, yeah, robot bird people theme. I think this used to be called... Funny enough, this used to be called robot bird people theme version B. Because version A just never got used anywhere. So they just end up changing the name to just the robot theme. I think the the inverse effect is cool, although it's kind of funny because look at Sheet's eyes. Look how much more pronounced they are than everyone else's. Her eyes are just a giant, right? I shouldn't say giant, but they're just a big green square each. And then Iris also has her green eye too. Oh yeah, and this game has achievements too. Oh yeah, right, they just shove you straight into World 1, I forgot. For some reason I thought that you you got to go somewhere else first. What just happened? What in our nation? You got rescued. 
mechanical bird. Robot bird people. And, uh, yeah, one of the big things is stuff like this. Like, the... I mean, I haven't even brought it up, but this game doesn't have regular Schmebeck's speech boxes anymore. Which, you know, thank God, because the default Schmebeck's speech boxes kind of suck a big fat one. <laughs> they really suck. Compared to something like this. Uh, who am I going to be for this level? Should I be demo right away? This place is Nito on the Beano. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get out of here. Uh, historically, I tend to sort of alternate between Kud and Raukau most of the time. Sheath is like the hard mode character. They're, they're uh, Tangy, one of the guys who helped work on this game, <laughs> did a whole thing. We basically played through the whole game as Sheath, which uh, I can respect. He did it just for testing purposes, too, just to make sure everything was, like feasible and uh yeah it did not sound like you had the most fun with that but you know it is what it is um i guess we'll stick with demo for now I'll, i'm gonna switch it up a lot though i might even switch it per level or something because i don't want to play the two the same character the whole time that's boring you know what's the point of having all these playable characters if you never use them right Oh yeah, the, the the leaf bushes. Oh boy, hiccups. I got, I'm getting hiccups from eating peanuts. Thumb. What's the name of this song? Alula. One shot soundtrack. Night Morgan Casey Goo featuring Eliza Velikes and Michael Shirt. Oh boy, the phone's ringing. I sure hope it Diabetes Canada isn't phoning me, because for some reason they always phone. Dude. A lot of thwomps. This is, this is funny enough, it's the first level, and like the, the main enemy is thwomps. Hey, hey. I, I love that checkpoint. It's one of my favorite little things. There's like a... I don't even know how many. There's like a dozen voice clips for that checkpoint that each play. It's, it's all just saying A hey, slightly differently. It's really, it's really good. What? Oh. I don't remember that one up. I wonder how many demos I can avoid using. Or, uh, uh, is that the right way to put it? I wonder how long I can go without dying, I should say, and like other things. Because, uh. One of the. Like, the, the literal last, like, boss of the game makes reference to how many demos you have and has different reactions based on how well you did. And, of course, because. Who knows if this will ever be relevant, but they bothered to give her a reaction specifically if you get to the end with, n like, never dying ever. If you get to the end of the game and you have zero demos, the final boss is like, how did you do that? Or something like that, I don't even remember. I think she, like, accuses you of cheating. I say making it up because I, I don't actually remember what she says at all. The Autumnal Epoch. Epooch, epoch, apocalypse. Hmm. Should I do another level? You know what? We'll do totally troll. This is kind of a funny second level to have. By the way, nice uh, 3D overall. I lo look at the, that nice background. It looks like painted. It's really nice looking. And you see everything slightly jittering because the camera is so technically moving. Uh, should I play as Iris? Sure. I also probably make this level a little harder because this level is mostly left to right. It's uh, it's actually mostly climbing just this really big hill. And it's the yeah big band battlefield. And yeah, I think this is a really funny second level to have because it's kind of like it's almost like a weirdly like bad representative of what the game's gonna be like because the, the second level has the word trolled in it. You know what I mean? Like. That makes it sound like the, the whole game is going to be just like dumb levels like this. We If you... T there you go. I, that's been fixed. Actually, I'm not sure if they even has yet. There was a lot... This, this, this little section seems totally innocuous, but they there was a, they had to fix this room like three times or something like that. Because it, it kept being that you would like... 
fall down here and clip into this pipe and then end up on the other side and just be stuck. I have no idea why. In fact, I'm gonna test out right now. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold against this. Oh, the, the donut block's not there anymore. Well, then maybe maybe it wasn't fixed and I just got lucky. I don't remember. Danger trolleys. That was one of the more British things I've seen today. Right then, I'll do you for that. For what? Caterpillar. Hairy caterpillars. I think mean, what are these? These are tofu blocks, right? And because because it's based on you know, at the end of the day, even though this this whole series is kind of trying to distance itself from the Mario IP, which makes sense, because that way you can you know obviously if it isn't Mario, it's easier to just do whatever you want with it without having to worry about getting you know DMCA'd or whatever. But it does, it, it, it'll never truly escape the roots. Simply because, like, the game started off as literally, like, the entire series. I mean, hell, this is still called, you know, a second X thing, which is, you know, short for a second Super Mario Brothers X thing. And, you know, the original series is, you know, a Super Mario thing and whatnot. Like, at the end of the day, they'll never be able to truly distance themselves from this. Bonus secret slash blanky bow the this means you goopa jerks well, well I don't even remember what my point was. Well it's because like, like everything has a face on you. I mean like the tofu blocks have a face on them, the donut blocks have a face on them. All the regular blocks just have faces on them. Oh no it's a human. Yeah, I'll just jump over you. So the funny thing is the, the music stops the instant you kill this guy. You can kind of skip it by just jumping over him though, but uh, you know, I'll show it off. And there goes the music. Got all these delicious radishes. And a delicious uh, leek. Those are the collectibles of the game. Hashtag collection something, I don't know. Oy, nuts! Dang momentum. <laughs> Access is unprohibited. No, by that I mean prohibited. Don't touch that switch. You idiot! That was our safety feature. So we have four rock coins. That, no, 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 no. I know the last one's at the end. So we, we good. We good. She clear. She clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right, these guys. More more Goopas that are not Goopas. Secret stash? I don't think this switch actually does anything. I don't remember that switch actually does do anything. I don't think it does. It'd be funny if it did actually do something and you just would never be able to tell. Uh, so I'm gonna do... Wee! Yeah! Get that fifth rat coin in the collection screen. Should I do another level? You know what? Nuts to nuts to y'all. I'm gonna do another level. Mm. Muffin buff. Oh yeah, right. My level is here. Shit. He also plays Rocko then. Why not? Muffin buff on Monkey Shop. I can show off one thing that I don't know if anyone's ever found. Because, you know, it's, I, I made my level, if you, if you don't know, this level is, uh, always make sure to search every nook and cranny. You'll never know when you miss an important secret. I, I put this here, and then there's a secret right above it, so you can't see. Oi! Oi, gunner! Shush! I'm watching my sister's dogs, and, you know, sometimes I'm not happy with people existing outside. Uh, yeah, right, there's a secret right above that speech box, because that's, you know, I thought it'd be a funny place to put it, given I put this box there. And also, uh, you know, if you could not tell, uh, this level is based on Shmoo, so it has some Shmoo-style stuff. Like, I literally based this on, like, uh, is it Yoshi's Island 2? I think Yoshi's Island 2. That sounds right, yeah. 
It's the one on the right at the start of the game. That's why I gave you a Yoshi, but since I'm Rock out to boot, because of course. You know what? We're not gonna lose out on that Yoshi. I'm gonna go back to demo just because I want the Yoshi. <laughs> Literally, I just want the Yoshi. Give me that Yoshi. Give me that sucker. It's funny, I'm like, oh yeah, I want variety, but it's like, well, yeah, but I, I want my Yoshi, man. <clears throat> I put that uh, disco guy in a pretty sneaky spot. You know, the funny thing is, I made when I first made this level, Chucks weren't even something that existed. But there was a Chuck here in my original version level. It's just that it was, uh, what it was, was a re-sprited, uh, what was it? A re-sprited, was it a ninja? It's, it was the enemy that just jumps up and down over and over again. And basically, I just had a script so that when you when he touched when he jumped on him once, he would turn into uh, a bully that was also resprited to look like a Chuck. You know, just you know, those are just the things you got to do when you want to slightly recreate something like that. But uh, thankfully, these days, Smurfex just has Chucks, has all manner of Chucks, in fact. So that's nice. Actually, does this level have capes? I might not be able to show up what I want. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, here we go. So watch this. Oh. Actually, uh, you know, we'll save that pink berry. So, you grab, you know, a method to fly. You fly all the way back over here. Just hold the left button. Hey, look, there's a cloud up there. I wonder what that is. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a forest guardian moon thing there. How about that? The same thing with the berries. I, think the, I don't even remember what the berries were. They were just respited nothing. Just something to eat. And they didn't do anything. But so once again, Spavex actually has these built in now and they can actually do stuff. Like for example, if you eat two pink berries, it does a cloud, just like the actual smooth, which is kinda cool. And I think I think it has the same thing. If you get every coin, you get uh, a one up. I wanna say that's the case. Let's see if I actually do. You get your green radish? Yeah, there we go, all right. But uh, before we continue onward, let's uh, head back, because I didn't go in that one pipe. That was pretty obviously where you're supposed to go, this blue one here. So the funny thing is that I put blocks here, but I also thought like, well, if you have a Yoshi, I might as well just put a blue Koopa here. But uh, pretty much everyone I've seen play this has the Yoshi at this point, so they never use the blocks, but you know, that's why I put them there, I can't really complain. The, the funny thing is, if you take that top block uh, before, like, you get to that block up there, it's kind of difficult to actually get at this. There is a, another one up in there, though. You can also use the guy, but, like, yeah, if you break the, all these blocks from top to bottom, then you, you can be kind of hard if you don't get the one up right away. Regardless, you know, onward, my trusty steed. I think the the red berries give you a one up, or they give you a power up eventually too. There's also disco guys in this level, so you can just go disco mode. Oh, what the heck! His tongue way overlapped that guy, but because it was retracting, it didn't count. I'm not sure. I forget if Shmoo actually doesn't have it like that. Does Shmoo make it so that you, Yoshi can't grab something if his tongue is going back in his mouth? I don't even remember. I don't think that's the case though. I believe Yoshi can always grab something with his tongue as long as it's out. Because uh, there's like tricks you can do with that, so surely that's the case, right? I'm not crazy, right? Oh, you know, I might as well do this. I put the berries in the level. Because uh, there is a, a route coin up there, but. Uh quickly do this. I, I tried to do a lot of this stuff. I wanted the, the little piranha heads. Oh, I missed a coin anyways. Well, whatever then. I wanted piranhas to come up through objects because uh, Shmoo's kind of kind of handles that a little funky because uh, as soon as they go above the piranha heads go above anything they, they get stuck up there. Like they won't go back down. They'll just consider that platform their new home. Oops. Okay, here. Let's uh, surely there's a shell back here. There we go, because uh, I put a little, you know, I don't, I don't know if the, this is pretty obvious if you, as the instant you look at it, but, uh, oh shit, 
No! What? Like, you can jump on the Yoshi when you're carrying something? Brother Man Bill, no! I don't think there's any... No, 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 there's a guy over here, okay. I don't think... I don't think Catnip despawns if I go too far away. Because I think it's just like actual Yoshi, right? Yoshi's a, a, a permanent or like... What should I call? I forget what the term Nathan is bored uses, but it's a, he's a persi persistent. I think is the word, a persistent sprite, which means he doesn't despawn until like something actually kills him or you like leave the section. I only got four rock coins. Where did I miss one? Oh no no! Isn't there one here? Oh 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 no 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 no! Get up! Stay up! I have this little thing here, because I kind of wanted you to be able to do like this. Get a bunch of things there, and then you have some guys over here. That Those are basically just like, if you actually decide to fly over, you get a one-up. Just, because like, why not? I think it's funny. Although I don't, I think that platform at the end is supposed to be underneath the ground. You're not supposed to be able to see the bottom of it like that, but, uh, who knows. Hmm. I probably did have it like that, and I just never changed it. Because nowadays, I'd say, like, I, I should be under the thing, but whatever. Uh... I, yeah, this is a good time to end it. It's a split path. I mean, World 1, as you can imagine, isn't particularly long or difficult. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's a bunch of settings here. There's, there's a bunch of nice settings here. Like, look at all these settings. Like, you can just gamma, transparency... And they, they even have a thing for bars where they show you what the default is, which is really nice. Change the... <laughs> can change the, the letterbox style, and I love the point where it's just meow, 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 meow. There is motion blur if you're a psychopath. You can also tone down the screen shake effects that we saw earlier. And reduce... You can, I guess you can just turn off flashing. You can make text faster. You have instant text as an option. You know, I think I will make it fast. Uh, is that... Will that mess with anything? I don't think it really matters. I'll keep it fast. <laughs> Galaxy brain. That's funny. You know, I like having extreme text effects. So, we'll put it exaggerated. Why not? And then there's the assist mode. The assist mode is really nice. Because uh, if you're having trouble with the game, you can just be like, oh yeah, just <laughs> give me god mode, give me longer iframes, which is a... This is such a niche option, but I'm, I'm, you know, obviously I'm glad an option is here rather than not being here. I wonder how many people actually play specifically with... And just turning this on and nothing else. You can also have uh, extra jumps, and then you can just have unlimited. You can make the game faster, which is like an awesome option for like... <laughs> no one's ever going to use this casually, but like... If you turn on God Mode, it's a lot more, like, it's actually useful just to speed through the game while still, like, playing it. You can turn on Entrances so it shows you. I forget, if the, I forget if this refers to all entrances or just, like, pipes. I don't remember. And then you can also turn on Auto Heal, which basically means that every time, like, a phase change happens in a boss, you automatically get powered up again. There, there even is still the reset to the defaults here. Assess mode is an accessibility aid. Options just to deviate from the intended experience and may cause an unintended behavior. Let me just click the save button. I love that it's a floppy disk. I wonder how many people nowadays even know what a floppy disk is. Anyone that's like past the millennium. Like that's just the save icon for everything. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for this part. See you guys later.